If your shop works on trucks like the Ford F-250 or Dodge Ram 2500, you know that these have a solid front axle. And chances are, during its lifetime, you'll be replacing the ball joints. With these, well, they have ball joints because they're four-wheel drive and the axle goes between where the kingpin used to be. With the two ball joints and you're installing them, it is critical that they're installed on access. If they're installed off access, in other words, one ball joint doesn't line up with the other, you could have issues with memory steer. When memory steer happens, the driver will notice that as they're going around a corner and releasing the steering wheel, it may not return. On kingpins, this is typically no problem because you had a grease fitting and you put the grease inside the kingpin. But with these, it's critical that you follow the service information. It's not the same for all vehicles. Some may ask you to install the upper ball joint nut first. Some may say the lower. They'll also have torque sequences. In other words, you may be tightening it down to 35 foot pounds and then doing 225 and doing that in a certain sequence between the two ball joints. But it's critical that you follow these instructions and the service information because if you don't, you're gonna end up with a memory steer problem due to an off-axis mounting of the ball joints. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.